Liam, we've come to the North East and come away with a draw, which uh, is, is satisfactory, isn't it? You must be happy again with that performance. Yeah, I think it was a, an honest, two honest teams. Um, good performance, probably cancelled each other out a little bit. Um, I said conditions weren't great, windy, wet, typical FA Cup tie, but as I said, I think we defended manfully. Uh, probably Marcus will be disappointed because we've had the best chance of the game, but you know, no complaints in the nil-nil result. Uh, on the way up, you'd have took it, and it's nice to get two clean sheets back to back. Yeah, it's always difficult to come here, isn't it? And they're a good team, big crowd behind them again today, and uh, we don't have the best of records here, so it's very satisfactory. Ah, I said, it's a good club. Chairman's a proper yeah. good man. Obviously, grew up with Jason as the manager, but got to know Tommy quite well. Really good people, good football people. I said the supporters, the good. You can have a bit of banter with them. I said the pitch, the facilities are fabulous. So, you know, it's a, I actually always enjoy coming to Spennymore. I said I know it's a tough place to go, and we've been on the end of a couple of iffy things over the last few years. But you know, I do like the place and I like the people. So. You know, nice uh, for us to be able to take them back to Southport on Tuesday. Um, and I'm sure it'll be another another tight, tough game. Yeah, we, we had that chance in that first half particularly, didn't we? And the second half, you mentioned Marcus is there. But the first half, we were, we were going really well. Yeah, I said we, we had a lot of possession in terms of like set plays um, where we could pen them in a little bit. I said, obviously, the wind will dictate that, you know, because I don't really know which way the wind was going because it wasn't affecting goal kicks either end, but it was certainly whirly. Uh, obviously down the slope it, it actually gives us a little bit of a, an advantage but you know, probably the only disappointment our set plays d delivery wasn't the best uh, and, and I think we were wrestling a little bit so made it easy for the referee to give free kicks because you know, they always very rarely you get a pen from it you normally get a free yeah. kick again so uh, that's why you try and stay out of the way but yeah no, no complaints brilliant following again for the fans you know made up with that I said um, we just got it within the hat for Monday but we're a long way from being in the next round because we've got a really tough game. Yeah, we're certainly doing it the hard way, aren't we? With an away game at Chorley, away game at Spennymoor, we can't get it much harder than that. No, but where we are, I said we may as well. I think what what will also help us is, as the season goes on when we pl start playing Saturday, Tuesday, because we are young and we've got legs. Um, average age at, from Southport and Spennymoor, there'll be a big gulp, big difference in it. I said so. Hopefully that can be a bit of an advantage for us, but. I don't think it is because you know they've got tried and tested players. They've got probably the two best, certainly right up there, strikers in the league. You know, Jamie Chandler's been a great player. Kurt's been a great player. They've got great experience all over the pitch. Lots of know-how, uh, so they always get the utmost respect from us. But you know, as I said, we've asked questions uh, and we looked a little bit lively on the break the last 15. Yeah. Now, some of the best compliments <coughs> I heard there were some of the Spennymoor fans just could not believe that we are bottom of the table. I think that's the biggest compliment we can hear, isn't it, when the, the home fans are saying that about us. It? it is hard to believe, isn't it? Well, uh, how many games have we played? Six, six league games, two FA Cup games, so another one. That's nine. Yeah. And I only think we've had half a game where we probably haven't performed. So, listen, you know, we, we are where we are for whatever reason we are where we are. We won't be anywhere near this come at the end of the season. I, uh, I think teams will say we're difficult to play against. Um, and, and as the players grow into it, which you can see they're growing into it. You know, did we lose? Did we deserve to, to draw with Chorley? Of course we did. Did we deserve to beat Chorley? Yes, we did. Did we deserve to get something? Yes, we did. So, did we deserve to get something here last time? Yes, we did. We didn't. But yes, we did. Far. Did we did? Yes, we did. But we didn't. I said so. You know, I believe in that. I keep on saying, I believe in the squad. I believe in what we're doing. I believe in what the club's doing. And we'll just keep on doing it our way. Forget anything, any negatives towards us. And we, when we go up the table, you know, been been in, in positions many times when people are critical, and you know, and I've been in positions when we're not winning. And I know the team isn't great, yeah. it, like in the league above. Certainly, I said, I, I don't worry about anything in terms of this squad, this group. Um, we just carry on. I said Russ is only a couple of weeks away as well, oh, which will strengthen us. Yeah. So you know, we just crack on and, and keep, keep putting in proper performances, and we'll be fine. Yeah, well, the news broke today that Mac has left us. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that and your, a little few words about Mac? Yeah? No, obviously I inherited to Johnny, and, and throughout the course of the time, he, he's been a really, really good ally for me. You know, he's someone that I'll always class as a mate now. Um, great coach, good person, uh, but he's had an opportunity. To, to move into into the Welsh League as an assistant manager in a full-time capacity, I said so. You know, 
as much as you say about where you want to be in, in, in life and sport, you above all else you've got to pay your bills, you've got to, you've got your family, you've got whatever you whatever you have to do. And um, you know, John John's had to make a decision. Don't think it you know, it was a decision he found easy. I think it was really tough, but ultimately he's got to put his family first. And I respect that. So does Ian Apotsi. We, you know, we respect that decision. And uh, you know, we have to, we have to, you know, move on, replace him, uh, wish him all the best. And you know, we, you know, not, no one's bigger than the football club. I've said it many, many times. And you know, the players are all at it today. The fans are all at it today. Football clubs in a good place. Yeah. Well, I'm sure knowing Liam, he'll already have a, a replacement in mind. But how soon do you think you'll be able to put somebody in place, Liam? Shortly. Thank you. <laughs>